So, um, you know, in contemplating the choices that we make or, or don't make because we're not ha having the right to do that, which to me is ridiculous. You know, if I get old and I'm uncomfortable and sad and not going to get better, maybe aching or hurt, burden to my family, please put me to sleep. I want, I want something really strong so it's not painful, too. Uh, what's that saying? Um, who was it that said, it's not death that scares me. It's just that I don't want to be there. So, yeah, the, the, the primitive mode that we're doing now is just ridiculous. More educated countries give the people a right to end their life at, at a time that they're very ill. Um, so, you know, I was in a nursing home care. I had, I had projectile diarrhea. I am not kidding you. I was like, holy shit, they're not paying me for this. They don't pay me enough. And, um, you know, it's all over the place. And then there was a guy with an ostomy bag, and he was unhappy and senile, so he pulled it off and dipped his hands in the fecal material and wiped it all over the place. And not happy, getting fed through his stomach. Another lady contracted in her 90s, can't talk, doesn't have teeth, feeding her through the stomachs, and she's combative. She doesn't want me to go in there and change her depends of food that's being put in through her stomach. She's not enjoying life. Um, we need to open our minds to this because not only will the, it ease up, probably 25% of the clientele at a nursing home would not be there suffering. You know, so then we wouldn't need so many nurses aides. Nurses aides de deserve, you know, I would say the lowest, even though, though they may not have gone to school, they do have the most difficult job. I mean, it's tough cleaning all those people up, um, you know, and whatever else, psycho care that they need somatic at times. Um, I know because I just did the job and I was like, you know, you're paying me 16 an hour. Well, I can get a much easier job and get 16 an hour, um, 14 an hour um, to hurt my back. And that's the other thing. We had a couple guys from Uganda and they were strong and could lift these patients. But to set the situation correct and right monetarily for people and the countries, we got we to gotta allow people to choose at what point in their lives. Um, that makes sense that they don't want to be here. Um, that just has to be a normalcy and then we won't have such high medical costs of more CNAs, you know, not paying the CNAs enough. They don't get the right care. CNAs are unhappy even though they may be great nurses. I was a good nurse, but you would have to pay me a hundred an hour to do that job. And then I would consider it. Um, and other people may be more um, temperate. But, but if you can't own a house and you're full-time CNA, something's wrong here because those people do a very, very difficult job. It's psychologically different, difficult. It's physically difficult. Um, you know, you have to get along with everybody. You have to get along with the families and nurses, the doctors, the patients. And you're supposed to be just all giving and caring and not get paid that enough to own a house? That's an important job, right? 